Alex Milwaukee can remain on her Justin Tapa, who returns to action at UFC 284 in Perth. Justin, how are you? I'm good, brother. How are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm happy, very happy to be talking with you. Um, 25 days out, how are you feeling? Man, right now I'm feeling sore, but honestly, I haven't trained this hard in ages, so I'm just real, real happy to, to be fighting again. It's been over a year, and um, man, I just can't wait to throw some liver. Yeah, man, it's it's it, it's been a while, and we will get to that in a little bit. Before we get to your fight, I have a very important question for you. Do you prefer people call you Australian, New Zealander, or even Samoan? Like, like what what what, what do you prefer? Honestly, I, I'm not offended by any of them. You know, like they all they all played a big part in my upbringing. So I, I, I call Australia home now. I was raised in, I was born in New Zealand, but my blood ties are obviously Samoan, and I'm a very proud Samoan. So, man, whatever anyone wants to wants wants to use, are all good. So you're kind of like a mutt. You're all three of them. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Awesome, dude. Awesome. <laughs> um, and also, for anybody that does not know, explain Tafa Gang. Man, it's just honestly, it's just it was, it was mainly my family, you know. Like, um, I come from a big family. My mom's like one of fourteen, you know. So my dad's on another one of twelve, <laughs> and they all breed big, and then all my cousins breed big. So, man, there's already there's hundreds of just just Tafa Gang in my family, and it's just it was just something, you know, some movement and. And now it's just getting bigger and bigger. Well, no, nah, definitely it's, it's it's a it's a family. Awesome, awesome. Um, all right. So you haven't fought since December twenty twenty one. Uh, you were scheduled a couple times in twenty twenty two. Why the long layoff? I had, I had a couple of um, major surgeries, things that were just really hindering any kind of training. And um, yeah, man, like I couldn't even move some days. You know, like. So I really had to get 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 my body sorted, and in the past it was it was like like making my training like progress really slow and and affecting my performances. So last year I had to kind of bite the bullet and and just um go under the knife, you know, for the longevity of my career and and obviously to better my performances too. How frustrating was it to be on the sidelines for a year? Man, very, very tough. And you know what it's like for fighters, man. We we fight to to make a living, and and last year I didn't fight for the whole year, so it was, it was very, very tight. Um, and um, at the same time, man, it's just watching everyone else fighting and 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 whatnot is is just like it gives you itchy hands and there, itchy fingers. But now nah, it all happens. It will be better for for my career. How do you deal with like? Being on the sideline, watching what watching the division go, all your all your colleagues are fighting. Like, how do you deal with it? Like, do you just try and keep yourself busy, to, to, like not think about it? Like, how how do you deal with it? No, you know, I, I just think everything happens for a reason, and and um, as long as I'm positive and and um, doing what I can to to better myself with rehab and then helping my my team out at the same time, man, time flies, eh? You know, and. Um, that's what it's felt like for me now. Like the last few months, it's has flown by because I've been just staying busy, helping myself, helping my my team, and um, yeah, just trying to get better. And now I'm a few weeks out from fighting, man. I can't wait. Awesome. Last thing before we get to your fight, your brother had a humongous year last year. Um, made all sorts of waves. He got signed. He's fighting on your card. How does that make you feel? Oh, it's good, man. I get some free gears now off him, and you know, so uh, we didn't have to pay for for more flights for the family. My other brother can jump in the corner, so he's got a free flight. Um, there's all the other perks that everyone's like asking me, like, "Oh, man, your brother's in the UFC." I was like, "Yeah, man, now I don't have to pay for his flight to come out of my my purse anymore." Freaking heck, he should he should take my deductions now. Like, uh, now, nah, honestly, I'm just um. I wasn't like stoked or anything because I knew it was meant to be. You know, it was only a, a matter of time. So, like, for me, my, my I was it was kind of premature jumping into the UFC and quite early in my career. And um, my brother's got the chance to like look at the way my career has been going and learning of of things that that I've been doing. And and at the same time, he's 
he's a killer himself. So it was just a matter of time kind of thing. And man, the, I haven't fought on the same show as him since we fought at some community center like seven, eight years ago. Yeah. So it's, um, it's growth, man, but it was, it was something that was going to happen. And, and then, you know, it was, it was inevitable. How was it being at the Saitama Super Arena? Man, that's that's a that's a almost like a mythical arena kind of thing, you know. That's that's where MMA was, you know. It, it become worldwide and and legends were forged and all that, and you just feel it, man. It was really good. I got to got to go with my brother and got got Mark Mark Hunt there in the corner, and you know, got to meet guys like Royce Gracie and. Rampage Jackson, guys that made that arena special too. So, man, it was just a, it was kind of like a full circle moment kind of thing, you know? Like, I used, used to watch that on YouTube and think it was like a circus act, man. I was like, far oh, Rampage picked that guy up and slammed him over the ring. Like, what the? And the crowd's just like clap, clapping like real nice, nice and respectfully over there. I'm like, what the? <laughs> so, it was, no, man, it's, it's, it's a, uh, I recommend anyone to go to, a, uh, MMA show in Tokyo or in Japan because that crowd, are, man, they're really respectful. The people there are, are so passionate about the sport and and they've been there through the Pride Days too and K1 Days. So they, they've got like a vast knowledge of, of you know, like of, of combat sport there, not just like boxing, but like MMA and kickboxing too. So yeah, I loved it. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. I'm, I'm so happy that you got to experience that because most, a lot of fighters never even get to go to that arena, you know, so it's, it's fucking Yeah, 100%. Awesome. Yeah, yeah awesome. for sure. All right. Well, let's talk about it, man. UFC 284, uh, Parker Porter, you're on the main card. Um, first of all, what do you think of the, uh, what do you think of the opponent? Yeah, he's good, man. He's a, he's a comfort fighter. Like to, to, um, it's a banger, but um, yeah, man, it's just a, a, a good fit for a good scrap. You know, that's that's why they put it on the main card because they know I bring entertainment. Man, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dance around for the crowd to just boo. Uh, I'll bite on the mouth guard and throw some leather, and, and then that's why they put me on the main card. Yeah, I mean, I saw some people complain about it, but it's like, dude, like you know exactly why they put this card in the fight in the main card <laughs> when you guys yeah. go down and it's, it's you know it's going to be a, just one of those fights you know yeah for sure man I, that's how i fight man I, if i hear the crowd's booing, you know, i'll go past the game plan and just <laughs> just start swinging. um so i did want to ask last time you were in australia and last time you, you you're on you're in Australia you're on the main card you got knocked out so how does it feel to be, to go back to Australia and redeem yourself? Man, that was the whole reason why I took this fight. You know, I was um my recovery was was cutting it thin on being ready for this fight. But man, I I had so much growth from that 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 last fight in Melbourne. I was like, man, I, I come for redemption. So. That's what I'm coming for, man. That's the main. That's my main source of motivation. This camp. <laughs> that's awesome, dude. That's awesome. Well, at the end of the day, February twelfth, how do you get your hand raised? Knockout. You know, that's the only way I want it. Even if I got a submission, I would. I would let go of the trick just to knock him out. <laughs> right. The crowd comes to see see violence, man, and I'll bring the violence. You know, they you don't see much heavyweight slug it out, and that's why they love me. You know what I mean? And I'm not gonna let them down by um, hugging against the cage or anything, man. I want to come in, throw some leather, and make this crowd roar and um, prep the crowd for Volkanovski to finish Islam. I mean, that's the thing is like you if you know. And I'm not just saying this, but like you know, if Justin Todd, Justin Todd was on the card, he's coming. Win or lose, you're gonna fucking scrap. And and that's that's been your UFC career so far. You know, it's just been nothing but bangers. You know, win or loss. Yeah, hundred percent. I I put my heart and soul out there in the cage, and I see I know the crowd see that, and they they appreciate it. And that's why I'm on the main card. Awesome, dude. awesome. Um, one last thing. What do you want your year to look like? Like, what are some goals for for twenty twenty three? I just want to keep the momentum rolling from my last fight. Um, I want to fight at least three times this year. 
and I um I want to get the bonus save on my brother. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you can brag you got the 50k and your brother's gonna have this. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> makes sense, makes sense. Awesome. Justin, thank you so much for your time, man. I really appreciate it. Uh if you want to plug your social media, plug any sponsors you might have, and if you want to thank anybody, the floor is yours. Yeah, man, I just want to thank all, all my supporters out there that, that have been um, riding with me. You know, it's been a, been a long year off, especially all my sponsors out there that, have, you know, you guys know who you are. Without you, I wouldn't have um, gotten through that last year. And um, your character through those times just show, you know, the kind of people you are. So I appreciate you. Make sure to subscribe to the Low Kick MMA YouTube channel for all the latest news, event previews, and interviews with some of the biggest stars in MMA.